Thank goodness for the Worthington Cup to provide sweet relief. The visit of Peter Reid's Premier League Sunderland helped lift the gloom just four days later, with the chief, Ephany Koku, blasting the first hole in the opposition wall. This has always been a lucky competition for the Nigerian. But Sunderland was soon level. Thanks to their talisman, England striker Kevin Phillips. Ikoku's next contribution was to get on the end of a defence-splitting pass and induce a penalty-conceding challenge by Sunderland keeper Michael Ingham. The young Irishman thus found himself confronted by another just 12 yards away as Owen Morrison made him pay for his indiscretion. Penalties were very much in vogue on this night, but it was Sunderland who got lucky next, as Alan Quinn twice nibbled away at Kevin Kilban, the second time a little too much for the liking of the referee. But Quinn deemed have worried too much. The prolific Phillips stepped up, but Kevin Pressman made himself big to block the effort with some ease. But not even Pressman could do anything about Sunderland's second Levener, Kilban, ever more influential, plied the cross, and Frenchman Lillian Laslong plundered what turned out to be the one and only goal of his disappointing short stay in England. Now settle back to enjoy one of the most spectacular goals of the entire season. A Lee Bromby throwing didn't promise a great deal, and Sunderland hardly appeared in jeopardy until the ball landed at the feet of Michele Di Piedi. Bang! The Italian could have run all the way home to Palermo in celebration of that one. He seems to specialise in the spectacular. His awareness and execution worthy of closer scrutiny on the replay. Terrific technique. The same eulogy applies to the running and dribbling skills of Michael Gray. Unfortunately for Sunderland, his efforts were spoilt by Laslon. His lack of expertise in the final analysis and Kevin Phillips, not much better. Wednesday were left to advance to the next stage in convincing manner. Their fourth goal, a short free kick from Quinn, leading to Argentinian Pablo Bonvin rattling in his first goal since swapping Boca in downtown Buenos Aires for life in South Yorkshire.